everyone. Hello. The teaching today um, involves the call of God on your life. And before we go into the teaching, I want to read a word that the Lord gave us. Uh, he first directed us to a quote by Oswald Chambers. <laughs> and this is what Oswald Chambers wrote. It is easier to serve or work for God without a vision and without a call, because then you're not bothered by what he requires. Common sense, covered with a layer of Christian emotion, becomes your guide. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> you can ponder that. You can pause the video and ponder that for a moment. Yeah. Wow. Okay, and then Acts 13, verses 2 through 3 reads, While they were worshiping the Lord and fasting, the Holy Spirit said, Set apart for me Barnabas and Saul for the work to which I have called them. So after they had fasted and prayed, they placed their hands on them and sent them off. The Holy Spirit is saying that those who are not sent by him do not have the aroma of Christ. They are not resisted or persecuted, as are those who have the aroma of Jesus Christ. Mm. These often feign persecution and hardship However, if it were real, they could not win because they work within their own power and they choose their own path. Yeah. And so the Lord wants to show you his path today, his call, because he wants you to fulfill your destiny. There's two avenues to the call of God. The first is a rather easy one. Um, we call this the fivefold ministry. You can find this in Ephesians 4. There are apostles, prophets, evangelists, pastors, and teachers. These are specifically called by Jesus Christ. You cannot choose for yourself whether you want to be one or not. You are called by Jesus or you're not. So there, that's very simple. Pretty easy. For, for everyone else in the body of Christ, um, how, how are they going to follow? Well, how? Um, maybe... The Holy Spirit oh, would help out. That's a there. great one. <laughs> <laughs> yes. When you're born yeah. again and filled with the Holy Spirit, there's an expectation that you will hear his voice and mm -hmm. that you will follow. Because when you're born again, you've given up lordship of your life and you've mm -hmm. given lordship of your life to the Lord, Jesus Christ. He's become your Savior and your Lord. So he is. he has a call. He has a destiny for you. And the Holy Spirit will speak to you about that, and he will lead you into your call. Um, remember that when it says in 1 Corinthians 3, it says um, there's a foundation laid, and then beware how you build upon it. Sometimes there's jewels and gold and silver. Sometimes there's wood, hay, and straw. And if you build on the foundation of Jesus Christ using wood, hay, and straw, it's all going to burn up. All yeah. your rewards will burn. Well, those are the works that you do. So th that's either you're following, which is going to turn into precious stones, gold, or silver, okay? Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter what the work is. If you followed, those are the good things that you will be rewarded for. Mm -hmm. So somebody may have an excellent, like what we would consider in the world, an excellent ministry. It's huge. It's enormous. But if it's not from the Holy Spirit, the entire thing, everything they've done will burn up. They themselves might be saved, but only as through fire. Mm -hmm. But if you, even though it looks like you've done almost nothing, but you've actually followed the Holy Spirit, mm -hmm. you will have great rewards that will not burn up. And yeah. so this is what God wants you to do. He wants you to follow his voice. He wants you to listen to the Holy Spirit, who, remember, speaks to your heart and not your intellect. And then you will follow the call of God on your life. You'll be successful. You'll be the aroma of Christ wherever you go. And your reward will not burn. That's short and sweet and hard to beat. All right. <laughs> well, then we <laughs> encourage you to follow the Lord. Yeah. Because he's got a great destiny for you. And he yeah, loves you so he much. Okay. Blessings. Be blessed.